Hey everybody, and welcome back to Viper Magic's channel here doing E3 2019. I am your host, Brent Casina. I can be found on YouTube at BK's Bullets. I do a comic book based YouTube channel. As you can see in the man cave here, we're all comics all the time. <clears throat> but here, you are watching Viper Magic's channel to talk video games, and I just finished watching what may be the most snore inducing conference I've ever seen. Square Enix, their first conference in a while, I believe, but the first conference that I've ever watched from them, that's for sure. And it's pretty apparent that I'm not a Square Enix fan. I do own a Square Enix Play Arts Kai, Batman from uh, Batman v Superman, the armored variant. I like it. I'm a fan of it. I do like the uh, Crystal Dynamics Tomb Raider games. I'm trying to work, make my way through uh, the third one right now. Oh, man, I'm telling you, this is tiring. This is an awful, awful conference. <clears throat> now, I've never played, let's start off, I've never played Final Fantasy anything, much less Final Fantasy VII. So, <clears throat> Final Fantasy VII Remake, starting off the conference, didn't do a whole lot for me. Um, not quite sure where to land on it. It certainly looks pretty. The gameplay looks uh, fun and cool, I guess. Uh, it seems like they've managed to find a way to meld the RPG uh, scenarios of old with this new meter you build up, and then you can use all these magic attacks uh, and then still have, like, a 3D action game um, similar to Devil May Cry or God of War. What kind of is turning me off, though, is, like, the little uh, numbers and stuff as you hit everybody to show you how much damage, although I guess Destiny does the same thing, and I never complained about it there. But I, I'm not sure about this game. I have no idea what to expect or what to think. Um, this is a wait and see for me. For many of you, it's probably a day one purchase because you've played a lot of these Final Fantasy games or you played 7 when it came out originally on the PS4. Um, I just couldn't tell you much about it. Now, um, one thing I will say is after the other deluge of every other Japanese game you've ever seen being made, which I guess Square Enix makes a lot of these. Holy cow. One of, one of the things that was puzzling to me um, was that we had a thing for Octopath Traveler like, that was really, really long, and they were just announcing that you could play it on Steam. And it's like, why isn't Octopath Traveler... I'm playing with my hair, yes. Um, <clears throat> why is that not coming to Xbox or PlayStation? Like, who's going to want to play that on Steam? Maybe on Stadia. You could play it on your phone or come into mobile. I have no idea why that was such a long trailer for what seems like such a small announcement. Um, there were some other things coming. Um, there was a Final Fantasy VIII remake announced, and judging by that video, it looks that looked like it was the old footage, not the new footage necessarily. So they haven't even started. Um, that was strange to me. Again, never played that game. Also, what was interesting was that we had thought, I thought we had heard before that the Final Fantasy VII Remake was going to come out in um, parts, and it seems that is no longer the case, that we are just going to get the whole thing in March of next year in 2020, and that that is kind of surprising. Um, so I guess it's ready, you know, that's good. Um but a whole bunch of Japanese games I've never heard of, a bunch of sequels, stuff like that. So yada, yada, yada. If you're interested in that stuff, go watch it. Get excited. I'm here to talk Avengers. Guys, I think it sucks. I think it looks terrible. Now, as a comic book fan, see above, Jim Lee. We got classic art up there, Jim Apero. I got, who's this above me? Uh, Bart Sears doing the Avengers with uh, some other people up top. Uh, I'm a fan of great art. I got Jack, who's this over here? Jack Kirby over here, Captain America movie poster. I'm surrounded by great art here in the man cave. And I know good art when I see it, at least for comic book characters. And that was not good art for comic book characters. Those designs, guys, are terrible. Oh my God. <laughs> Like, they, they showed Iron Man's foot, and I was like, okay, okay, good, good. You know, this is Marvel's. The Avengers is the same guys who worked on Spider-Man and, and stuff like that. And I did come around to the white spider on Spider-Man's suit and all that, but 
you know, they, they zoomed up on Iron Man, and I was like, this looks great, this looks great, they got to the head, I'm like, okay, here we go, what's the mask look like, and ooh, that mask is terrible, oh my gosh, like, there's one thing you can do with Iron Man's mask, pretty much, like, there's not a whole lot of ways to mess it up, but putting a big square in his forehead is one of the ways you can mess it up, and that's exactly what they did, and it's like, you know, you're either, you're either doing, like, the modern look, and you can pull from the movies, and you have, like, this division almost as if you have, like, uh, you're losing your hairline, you know, I'm not quite there yet, but, um, you know, you can have, like, a V-shape going here or here, and have the sharp points, and do, like, the more 60s mod look, you can do that, you can do the modern thing, where it just kind of tapers back on top of the head, with that, but there's always some division, but you never, ever, ever put something in the middle of his fucking forehead. Are you high? It's just, just distracting. Ugh. No. No. I, other than that, other than the head, the, the, the armor, the mask, you know, I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. But if every single one's gonna look that terrible, who's their design guy? Obviously, that person's never, ugh, Never really read a comic book or anything like that to understand what Iron Man's supposed to look like. Like, I'm fine with you designing your own Iron Man suit, but stick to the classics, man. There's a greatest hits list for a reason. Pull from those. Ugh. There's a reason why Ultimate Iron Man did not work out. Okay? In the Ultimates, it just was all over the place. It was terrible. Um, another character that looked bad. Thor was okay. The other one that really missed the mark, I think, was Captain America. You do not put Captain America in a flak jacket and call it a day. That's basically what they did. They gave Captain America this big flak jacket. He's got it on. It's like a bulletproof vest. And then they gave him the shoulder pads on the side. They put a star in the middle. They said, oh, here's a helmet that kind of looks like other stuff. And they called it a day. And it's like, you guys did not even try to make it look like he was actually wearing a cool outfit. This is like Captain America's first day on the job. You know, he shows up, puts on a blue shirt, uh, looks around, sees a flak jacket, and does like a Miles Morales into the Spider-Verse thing, pulls the flak jacket over, spray paints it blue, and then sticks a star sticker on the top. What the f- Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Like, the whole thing about Steve Rogers is that he's a super soldier, right? So the super soldier serum made him super strong, super fast, super athletic, super agile, you know, him needing a flak jacket, him needing any type of armor at all is kind of missing the point. That's the entire reason he has a shield. He's supposed to be so super that he should be able to figure out where the bolts are coming from and use his shield to deflect them. That's kind of the main reason it's there. It's made out of freaking vibranium for crying out loud, um, which is the strongest metal on the planet in the Marvel Universe, at least. So that was hella disappointing that Captain America, the other player you probably want to play as, looks like shit. Um, Thor didn't have a pro- problem with his design. It's just like these... All their faces also just kind of looked a little wonky. Just not great. Like, Arkham Knight came out a few years ago, and their faces look good. Although I was looking at Black Widows in one of these trailers, and I was like, oh, this, um, you know... This looks a little bit more like the Tomb Raider um, designs and stuff like that. So it kind of makes sense if that's what their engine builds their faces like. But it's just not... It's not super, guys. It's not superheroes. It's it's regular heroes. And they need to be superheroes. So that was really disappointing. So here's another Marvel game that, you know, it's got a terrible costume design to start out with. With a bang, hey everybody, pay attention to us. Like everything looked good up until Iron Man came out, and you're like, Ooh, it's terrible. Oh, that costume. I'm I'm watching the the Marvel put up the trailer in 4K on their YouTube channel, so I have that playing right now. And just Iron Man's head, man. Just make the sides a little taller. Get rid of that thing in the center, and you'll be good to go. You know, Black Widow looks okay. You know, this is the other thing. Black Widow's in the same skin-tight black uh, cat suit she's been in in the comics and the movies. But she doesn't get a flak jacket. 
but you got to put one on Captain America, of all people? Come on now. So, anyway. I'm glad this thing is over. I'm going to go watch something better. And, um... I'll play a video game. I have no idea. I'm definitely not going to watch Square Enix again. Fuck that. I'll catch it on the flip side after that. Never live again. That was terrible. I was glad I was kind of like watching it a little bit behind because I could like fast forward through all this silly Japanese stuff. And then I caught up eventually and just had to wait. And that, that was kind of awful. Another thing with these Japanese game developers and stuff, like they want to come out. They want to talk. That's fine. Like the, the girl in Bethesda from last night did a really good job. Her English was pretty good, but the translation stuff is just, it's bad. It's, it's, it's hard to watch. I think it's fine in an interview when you're doing something in print, but in a live TV setting or a video, it's just slow. It slows everything down, and it's especially slow because, you know, he's, one guy saying something, the translator saying something, and it looks like the translator was reading from a book. Um, so she already had the pre-words he was going to read off the teleprompter ready to go. So why did she even need to be there? Why didn't you just have her, like, talk from the microphone? Um, these translating things never work out the way they think they do. And then the cheesiness of the, you know, American guy, the mar head of marketing for Final Fantasy VII Remake was like, Hey, yeah, uh, blah, 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 son, you know, it's, can't wait to see more. Just typical, like... Japanese cheese, I guess. Although the Marvel guys were also very cheesy and annoying as well. So that was that was also... Uh, ugh. But back to Avengers. What is the deal with this game? Is it single player? They said multiplayer, but it looks like a single player game. Am I confusing something here? Am I lost? Is it two different things? Is it like Red Dead Redemption where there's a single player story and then an online component? Um, it's very, very unclear, but, you know, it's good to see Taskmaster was there, I guess, so that's that. Anyway, thanks you guys for watching, and we'll catch you next time. We'll see ya on the other side.